Thank you. Not only are we pro-choice in New York City, but who's here from New Jersey? And I have to give a shout out to my friends from Maplewood, New Jersey, who I know are here today. That's them. Um, Connecticut? Massachusetts? Who else am I missing? Did someone just say Vegas? <laughs> All right. You know this attack is coming from Congress. But you know we have a really good group of friends in Congress. And one of those women is with us today. This is the fabulous Carolyn Maloney, Congresswoman Carolyn Maloney. I'm just going to let her talk. Thank you. Thank you for being here. Thank you to Planned Parenthood, the organizers. And we are here today to say no to John Boehner and the right-wing extremists. They are wrong. And we are here today to speak for a woman's equality, her right to choose, her reproductive freedom, and in support of Planned Parenthood. The current Republican attacks on women's personal liberties, our access to reproductive health services, and our right to life-saving medical care is stunning in its scope, appalling in its indifference, and outrageous in its arrogance. Their proposals go far beyond anything in current law. It is the most right-wing, destructive attack on a woman's right to choose that I have seen in my lifetime. For years, anti-choice advocates whittled away at a woman's right to choose. And I kept a scorecard on women's issues that shows these attacks but nothing, nothing was as extreme or as serious as this three-pronged attack that is before Congress now, attacking access to abortions, insurance for abortions, and funding Title X for Planned Parenthood. <laughs> Last week, the Republican GOP passed without a single Democratic vote, taking away funding, targeting women's successful access to birth control and family planning. They successfully in the House defunded Planned Parenthood. We need our president. Those that are trying to eliminate Planned Parenthood do not care about women. They don't care about health, and they certainly don't care about reducing the numbers of abortions. If they did, they would not try to eliminate funding for the single largest provider of family planning services in the entire country. The single largest provider of testing for breast cancer 830,000 examinations each year. Thank you, Planned Parenthood. The single largest provider of testing for cervical cancer. One million pap smears each year. Thank you, Planned Parenthood. The single largest provider of testing for sexually transmitted diseases. Four million tests each year. Thank you, Planned Parenthood. If the Republicans get their way, many women will have nowhere to turn, and they will, many of them, die from breast cancer, cervical cancer, and other diseases. The right-wing Republicans are using their power not to grow our economy, 
but to invade even the most personal areas of a woman's life, coming between her and her doctor, and they are wrong. Not one of these proposals from the Republicans would create a single job, decrease the deficit, expand the economy, increase our freedom, or ensure our liberty. I call upon all Americans, and particularly our senators and our president, to stand up, fight off this right-wing attack, say no to the cuts in Planned Parenthood, Say no to the attacks on choice. Say no to the anti-woman, anti-health agenda. And stand up for us. I know that I will be fighting every step of the way. And now, my friends and colleagues, my brothers and sisters, if we want things to change, we know that it is not enough to just be here today. We know that we need to make our voices heard again tomorrow. And not just in this square, but in the halls of Congress, on the airwaves, and on the internet. Go to my website, www.womenmatter.com dot us and sign the petition that declares that women matter and that women matter is clearly something the republicans have forgotten in congress the current republican attacks on women's personal liberties are obscene women matter women health matters women's lives matters and go to this link, give it to a friend, Twitter it out to your sisters and brothers, phone it to your mothers and your fathers, to give it to your sons and your daughters, because our lives matter. Women